Lesson 1.2, count and write 1 and 2. In this lesson, we write the numbers 1 and 2 and use letters to spell the number words. This is the number 1. This is the word 1. There's one cow. This is the number 2. This is the word 2. We have one, two cows. Here's the number one. Here's the word one. It's O-N-E. There's one fish. Here's the number two. Here's the word two. It's T-W-O. We have one, two fish. So I have a message for parents. This is also from the previous video. One and two are sight words. They cannot be sounded out phonetically. Children are to memorize them as a whole word by sight. And you can see this video's description for a link about sight words. We're gonna trace the number one with our finger. For the right-handed students, you can take your finger we start at the top and we come down to the line. We start at the top and come down to the line. For the left-handed students, we do the same thing. We start at the top and we come down to the line. We start at the top and come down to the line. Here we have the word one, O-N-E. For the right-handed students, we're going to start at the top and we're going to come around this way and back up again for the O. For the N, we're going to start here. We're going to come down and bounce back up and around and down to the line. And for the E, we're going to start here. We're going to come across and come around like that. Okay, let's try it one more time for the right-handed students. We're going to start at the top and we're going to come around and back up again. For the N, we're going to start here and come down to the line and bounce around and back down to the line. For the E, we're going to start here. Notice that it's kind of in the middle of the dotted line and this bottom line. We're kind of in the middle here, aren't we? We're going to start here. We're going to come across and up and around. For the left-handed students, we're going to start at the top and we're going to come around this way and back up again. We start at the top, come around, and back up again. For the end, we're going to do it the same as the right-handed students. We're going to come down and bounce around to the line. And we're going to make the E the same way as the right-handed student. We're going to start in the middle here. We're going to head to the side and come up and around and curve like that. It's the number one, O-N-E. Let's try it for the number two. This is the number two. This is the word two. For the number two, we start right here. Let's do it with right-handed students. We take our hand, we start here, and we curve around with our finger to the line and go straight across like that to the side. Let's try it again. We start here. We curve around and come down and go across on the line. You can trace with me. Let's try it for the left-handed students. We do it the same way. We start at the top right here. It's not up here on the line. It's about right here. And we come around and curve on a slant, come down to the line and go across. Let's try it again. You can do it with me. We come around curve, and then on a slant, we come down to here, and then we go off to the side. And this is the word two. We have T-W-O. You can follow with me as we trace it for the right-handed students. We're going to start here, and we're going to come across. We're going to pick up our pen or our finger, and we're going to come here and go straight down. You could also start here and go down and then come across. It'll make the same letter. 
for the W, we start here and we come down to the line, back up on a slant, come down on a little bit of a slant, and come back up again to this dotted line. And for the O, we start at the top and we're going to come down and around like that. For the left handed students, we can either start here and draw the line coming down, or we can start with the cross. If we start here, we're going to come down. And notice we're not at the top here. We're just a little bit above the dotted line. We come down. And for the left-handed students, we're going to come here and come across this way. We come down and then cross it this way. And the W is the same as the right-handed student. We're going to start here come down on a little bit of a slant, come up on a slant to the dotted line, come down on a slant to this bottom line, and back up again. That's W. And for the O, we're going to start at the top, and we're going to come around this way and back up again. We come down around this way and back up again for left-handed. We have the number two and the word two, T-W-O. We have two turtles, one, two. When you're writing your numbers and the letters, you don't want to go in the basement below this line. This is wrong. They went too far past the line. So don't go down here into the basement. Stay on the first floor on this line, okay? This is the correct way. We stay on the line. We stop at the line. So it's nice like that, see? We can write the number starting at the dot on the top. Here's the number one. We have one fish. We start at the top and we come straight down to the line. One. Let's try it again. We start at the top and we come straight down to the line. Let's try it for right-handed students. We start at the top and we come straight down to the line. We start at the top and we come straight down to the line. We can write the word one, O-N-E, with our right hand for the right-handed students. For the O, we start at the top and we come around this way and back up again. We start at the top come around and back up again. For the N, we start here. We come down and bounce around to the line. So we're going to start here. We're going to go down and bounce around to the line. And for the E, we're going to start here and come around. We start here and then we come around like this. Okay, let's try it again. For the O, we start here, we come around. For the N, we're going to come from the dotted line and we're going to go to the bottom line here. And then we're going to bounce around to the bottom line again. Come down and bounce around. For the E, we start here, we go this way and we come around. Let's try it for the left-handed students. If you have a right with your left hand, you'll be like this. We have a O N E. For the O, we start at the top and we're going to go this way. Now notice for the right-handed student, we went that way. This time we're going to come around this way. So we're going to go like that. Okay. In fact, we should do that again because I went in the basement, didn't I? Let's fix that. Let's do it again. We start at the top, come around, back around. For the N, we start here at the dotted line. We come down and bounce around to the bottom line, okay? So we're going to come down and then bounce around like that. For the E, we're going to do it just like the right-handed students. We're going to start here. We're going to go across and then around and around, okay? Let's try it again. We start at the dotted line here, and we come around this way and back up. We start at the top. And we come around and back up. 
for the N. We start at the dotted line. We come down to the line and bounce around back to the line. For the E, we start here. It's in between the dotted line and this bottom line. And we go across and up and around, around. Okay? Here we have two fish. One, two. We have the number two. We can try writing it with our right hand. We start here and we come around and then on a slant come down to the line and come across. We can do it with our left hand. We start here. We come around on a slant and then come across by the line like that. We can use our right hand to write the word two, T, W, O. We start right here and notice that it's not touching the top line, it's a little bit below it. We start here and we go straight down. Then we come over here and then we come across and we make T. For the W, we're going to start here and we're going to come around and up and around and up. And for the O, we're going to start at the dotted line. We're going to come around and back up again. For the left hand, like this, we're going to write T W O. We can start here a little bit below the top line and we come straight down. And then we go on this side and cross towards our hand. That's T. For the W, we start here on the dotted line. We come down to the line and up, and down to the line and up. And for the O, we start here, and we come around this way, and back up again. T, W, O, two. We need to count how many there are, and write how many on the line. I see sheep. I see one, two sheep. We need to write the number two. We start here, curve around, come down on a slant, and then go across on the line. Two. Two sheep. One, two. I see a squirrel. There's only one squirrel. Just one. We need to write one we start up here and we come straight down. One, one squirrel. You can count one or two objects and you can write the number one and two. I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope you join me next time for lesson 1.3 when we model and count three and four. Bye.